Before I continue showing more editing within Vim, I'm going to highlight how well Vim is integrated with the command line. So first off, let me send a SIG stop to the Vim instance, that's with Control Z, and this will suspend Vim and put it in the background. Now I can run a command line command in the very same tab. This is handy if you're uh, SSH'd in somewhere. And you can see that's executed. And now I type FG to return to Vim, exactly as it was. I'm going to exit now normally with capital Z, capital Q, exit without saving. Now I'm going to demonstrate another workflow I find pretty handy. Let's say I want to inspect part of a log, but the log is quite large. So I have this development.log thing here, which according to word count has 20,000 lines. You can imagine this is even bigger. So now I'm going to filter this log to the bits I want. For the sake of simplicity, let's say it's just the last 150 lines. In real life, it'll probably be a grep pattern of some sort. Now that's just 150 lines. We can confirm a word count again. Now here's the key bit. I can open up these 150 lines alone with Vim if I tell Vim to accept input from standard in, which is symbolized with that hyphen there. And now it's opened this up in an unnamed buffer. And you can see it's got 150 lines. I pressed capital G to go to the end of the file. So let's exit Vim again. Now, another cool thing is you can integrate Vim with, well, to be honest, you can integrate any command line command with FZF. So I type star star and then tab. And this gives me this kind of autocomplete for any file within the directory. So I can uh, fuzzy search for analytics and that'll fill out the argument and I press enter and I can go back into that analytics file that way. Another way to open up Vim at exactly the right place is to rely on um, universal C tags. So if I pass dash T to the command line interface for Vim, I can start typing out attach for attach script. And I press tab and this is Vim populating the autocomplete. I can see attach script, the function we looked at earlier. And then when I open up Vim, it'll bring me right there. Super cool. I'm going to exit again and demonstrate something else. So Imagine we have a stack trace and I want to inspect each line or maybe have a script to open up a Vim instance for every line. What I can do is I'm just going to populate this from my history. I can type the file name and then as with all stack traces pretty much, colon and the line number. So I've got colon 87. If I press enter, uh, thanks to the Vim fetch plugin, I'm at line 87 of the file in question. This is great for debugging, especially debugging library code, which you can also open up handily with Vim. Lastly, let's imagine you want to open up a Vim instance at a particular string in a file, but you don't know at what line that string is. And also it doesn't have a handy tag that you can open up with a dash T flag. So let's say within the package.json, I'm looking for the dev dependencies key. So I can fill that out there. So it's plus to say uh, run a command in Vim and then slash for the search as we've seen before and then dev dependencies the string in question and there you go we are on line 20 where the dev dependencies key is highlighted